Well, I don't know exactly what we're walking into here, but it sounds interesting and it looks even more interesting, to be honest. And when I looked it up, it's originally a song written by someone who was born um, in 1880. So let's do this. Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I guess I am. <laughs> and we are back with Mr. Um, Leon Redbone for the first time on the channel. Um, I've never heard of him before, I'm not even gonna lie, but that's par for the course, I'm not gonna um, fake. Uh, so this is a request from our patron, Mike R. Um, he's got another one we're gonna do either tomorrow or the next day as well. Not the same artist, but uh, we'll get them out the way. I think the other one was John May also. We know we love John around here. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, that just happened recently as well. So maybe we'll do another one in his honor. Um, but the song is called Shine On Harvest Moon. It's live in Nashville, Tennessee at some point on some show, it looks like. It was originally sung by Nora Bays, uh, who was a, a vaudeville performer who was popular internationally between 1900 and the in 1920. Um, she is credited with co-writing the song Shine on Harvest Moon and uh, performed many successful songs uh, during the First World War, including a song called Over There. Um, she was also noted for having her independent views in an unconventional private life, becoming an early media celebrity, and she made over 160 recordings. And it was also written by um, Jack Norworth. So I think we've heard of him before, haven't we? He was a vaudeville performer too as well. Um, Tin Pan Alley. Okay, take me out to the ball game. What? That's funny. Um, so yeah, Shine on Harvest Moon, live, Leon Redbone, let's go. And if y'all are not subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I would really appreciate it. Um, it really helps the channel out. And if you really want to support the channel even more, there is a Patreon and a PayPal in the description. All right, here we go. Leon Redbone, Shine on Harvest Moon. Three, two, one, go. dark so you could hardly see cause the moon refused to shine there's a couple sitting neath the willow tree for love they pine little mare was kind of afraid of darkness so she said i think i'll go the boy began to sigh Looked up at the sky and told the moon his little tale of woe. Shine, shine on harvest moon. I found the sky. I ain't had no love since January, February, June, or July. No time, ain't no time. It does sound very retro. Pedal steel too, definitely. This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. This is like Frank Zappa, but like the Yang to the end. <laughs> That was a sick run. That was good. What a cool cat, man. That was really cool. I don't know what show that was on. It did say it was live in Nashville. Um, that was my first exposure to uh, Mr. Redbone. Um, this song came off of an album called Double Time, which was his second studio album, which was released in 1977. Peaked at number 38 on the Billboard album charts. Uh, had a bunch of covers on it. Uh, so it's traditional songs and such. Um, I don't know if this is exactly who is here. Um, Leon Redbone on vocals and guitar, obviously. Um, I'm trying to see if there is anyone. Uh, Eric Weisberg on banjo, maybe. Um, trumpet. Ed Pulser and Ed ba Bearfield. Oh, I know. Ed Pulser on trumpet. Ed Bearfield on clarinet. Um, <laughs> Kermit Moore on cello. That's a good one. Stuart. Oh, Selwert Clark on viola. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to see. Um, like I said, I don't know if this was live because this, this could be the same year this came out. I don't know. Um, you guys might know. Um, but that was a very good, I don't know. It was a great blend of like modern kind of country or not modern, but like, you know, back then 70, late seventies, uh, kind of that country, almost rock or folk rock sort of feel. Uh, with that pedal steel especially, um, that really gives it that, I don't know, that down-home feel for me. I really, I dig it, man. Like I said, <laughs> I'm from the country, so I, um, no matter what, when I hear, like, you know, traditional music come on, or country music is whatever you want to call it, you know, it's, um, I don't know, man, it just kind of, like, calls to some past self that's within me, you know, the many halls that we walk, um, what, what's the line in the end, Jim Morrison, what is it, oh, take a mask off like the ancient hallway or something as you're, I don't know, but that's how it feels like, you know, I, sometimes I hear music that just kind of calls out to um, something that's old in me, something older than me. You know, I can't really explain it more than that. You know, it could be the whole ancestral memory DNA thing that I talk about, you know, or I could just be uh remembering thing from somewhere else. Who knows? But there's been a lot of songs like that lately where I've just felt like I've recognized it, you know, but I obviously haven't heard it before, you know, so I don't know. But that was a really good um, mix of like that old world sound, which has been popping up a lot on the, cha uh, on the channel lately, which I love. You guys know I love that old world sound. Um, but this blended that really well with like that country folk rock kind of sound. Um, and then him on the guitar, that acoustic, he was ripping on that thing, dude. And he was just sitting there like, what a cool customer, bro. <laughs> just sitting there, man. Uh, got his sunglasses on and everything. Um, I don't really know much about him. Let's see what we can find out, huh? <laughs> Leon Redbone. Um, jazz, blues, and Tin Pan Alley classics. Recognized by his hat, often a Panama hat dark sunglasses and a black tie. He was born in Cyprus. Uh, he's Armenian ancestry and he appeared in st on stage in Toronto in the seventies, appeared on film, television, acting, voiceover roles. Um, he often employed comedy and de demonstrated guitar playing skills. So he's a very multifaceted artist. It looks like, um, interesting. He's got a very interesting upbringing. It looks like, um, he met Bob Dylan at one point. He was so impressed by his performance, he mentioned it to Rolling Stone. Um, so He described it so, as so authentic you can hear the surface noise of an old 78 RPM. Dylan said if he ever started a label, he would have signed Redbone. Um, his first album on the track was released in 1975. Um, he was introduced on Saturday Night Live at one point to a huge audience and then he was frequently guest on johnny carson show oh it's johnny carson show oh, sorry copyright stuff um <laughs> you would think uh no wait no it's not johnny carson my apologies johnny i didn't mean to say that um that's ed sullivan that's <laughs> that's who it is whoever's in control of his estate and all that man they are all know with that stuff and like i said I don't take it personally, man. I really don't. I try not to. It, it's just a part of the game, you know, and technically, I mean, this is fair use in the United States, so it is exempt from copyright, but if it's in another country, those laws don't are, you know, they don't really withstand there. So 
It is what it is. I got to take the punches and I'll give them right back if I can. It's all good, man. Um, I would definitely say that his very um, interesting vocals, I would say, were, were probably my favorite thing other than like the pedal steel. Um, it's a very, very interesting sound with that trumpet, that muted kind of old trumpet as a flugelhorn or a trumpet. I don't know exactly what it is, but it just uh, completely um, really made that old world sound perfect, man. It did sound like the 1920s. And there was a song we did yesterday, if you're watching Day Premiere, that had um, like, a, like a plunger in their trombone and trumpet, too. And uh, like just muted it, obviously. And it really gave it that just charm and that just, I don't know, man. It, it had that strange old taste to it. I love it, man. And like I said, it just calls to something within me, bro. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, Leon on the acoustic was fantastic. And um, so is that pedal steel. Definitely. I don't. I can't find who played it. Um, it doesn't really say. But he did a fantastic job. Um, and he had a whole orchestra backing him as well, apparently. And, you know, they all really contributed well overall to the whole atmosphere of the sound that they were going for. And I think they nailed it. And it's, like I said, a very interesting blend. I've never heard that before. Like 1920s vaudeville swing music or whatever. And then you got like a almost folk rock or country, whatever you want to call it, sound. Very interesting blend. And I'm very down to hear more. Um, so thank you for that one. That was a great pick. Um, I'm definitely down to do more. And um, thank you, Mike R. I will be doing the other video sometime this week, maybe the next day or two. I love John May also. I'll do it sooner rather than later. So, um, And uh, if you guys are watching this, I think the requesting is going to be closed for the Patreon request to submit them uh, today. It'll be the last day. Um, if, you might, if it's short, you can sneak it in. Uh, but... For the most part, I close it within a week, you know, of it ending so I can make sure I finish everything for everybody. Um, so I want to make as many people happy as I can. Obviously, I'm not perfect, so it's not going to always work out with everybody. And I understand that. That's fine. And some things fall to the cracks, and that's my fault at points. Uh, but the contact, you know, it does have to happen. But um, I appreciate all of you guys. I really do. Thank you for showing me all this wonderful music. I really appreciate it. And if you have any other picks by Leon Redbone, leave them down below. I'll definitely check them out. Thanks for watching. Well, hello there. It's just you and me now. Um, there's a Patreon in the description. If you want to join, uh, join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. There's other tiers too. If you want more requests, uh, there's full album sides and all kinds of things in there. There's blocked videos out the wazoo. I mean, tons of them. There's full album reactions to the Beatles, King Crimson, you name it. It's on there. Um, you can just scroll for days. Well, not days, maybe for like 10 minutes and there'll be lots of stuff. I mean, the video time is a lot longer, but if you just scroll, you know what I mean? Um, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thank you for watching, guys.